If you want to learn how to make these sliders, watch this video. First of all, if you got a pack of chicken thighs and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. Trigger warning. You already know the routine. Clean your chicken thighs. They come with a lot of fat, excess fat skin. You want to remove all of that stuff. Scrub it down with some lime, some cold water, some vinegar. Remove all the fat. Get that stuff off your chicken. Clean it. Rinse it off good. And then season it, okay? <laughs> After you clean your chicken thighs, you want to go ahead and season them. Okay, so right here, y'all, you want to lightly season them. We're making some chicken... What is it? Like buffalo chicken sliders? Yeah. So you just need a little bit of seasoning right here. Depending on how many um, chicken thighs you have, it's going to determine how much seasoning you want to use. I use the no dash salt free seasoning, some roasted garlic and herbs, some onion powder, and a little bit of seasoned salt. Okay. Because the buffalo sauce and the hot sauce already has salt in it. So you do not want to over season your meat. Okay. In a cast iron, if you have one, you want to go ahead and um, hit that with a little bit of oil at the bottom. I use some olive oil, and then you want to go ahead and put your seasoned chicken thighs in it and let it cook on both sides until they are completely done. It shouldn't take that long because the boneless chicken thighs um, are pretty thin, so they don't take that long to cook. You want to remove them into a separate pan and then cook however many you have. So I had about five pieces, so I just needed to cook one more. And then in a separate pan or on a plate, however you shred up your chicken, you want to go ahead and shred it. So this part, I just did it with the fork method because it was still hot. As you can see, the steam was coming off. But once the chicken cooled down, I just started ripping it apart with like my hands. That's all. It's, it's really easy to do it that way. I was just doing it this way because, again, the chicken was hot. And it looked like shredded pork don't it yeah but we use chicken over here no pork on my fork <laughs> anyway you want to make sure all your chicken is shredded there are several different ways you can shred up your chicken but again you want to make sure all of it is shredded i did add mines back into the pot because i wanted to make sure each piece was thoroughly cooked um so I just went ahead and added it back to the pot. And then you're going to do that part anyway because you're going to add these into the oven to cook down the cheese and all the sauce that you add on anyway. But yeah, that's all. So go ahead and preheat your oven unto, what is it, 400 degrees? Preheat your oven on 400 degrees and go ahead and add your buffalo sauce. It does not matter what kind of sauce you use. I try to use the ones um, without like salt because I don't like my food saucy, okay? So I want to add enough buffalo sauce to cover each piece of shredded chicken, okay? And then I went in with some Louisiana hot sauce because I like it hot. We love it hot over here, okay? Ever since I was little, I've always loved hot food. And then I added two spoonfuls of chive and onion cream cheese. This is going to give it that creaminess that you want. You can use plain cream cheese, whatever you want to come. However you want to come in the kitchen, you just want to go ahead and do that. And then make sure it is well mixed, okay? Mix it up like this. So it's gonna look a little iffy you know what i'm saying but just add it just listen listen to me okay <laughs> and then i just added some shredded cheese to half of the pan because once it cooks you're gonna fold it over and just cook it all but that's just extra of me you can just add it to the whole pan if you want to i just don't like a lot of cheese so i just added it to half the pan um once it's out of the oven again you want to cook it on a 400 degrees for about i want to say like 10 minutes yeah, just let it the cheese melt down and let it cook. Just watch it. It don't even take that long. And then once it's coming out, just take it out the oven and mix it together. While that is cooling off a little bit, you want to go ahead and get you some Hawaiian rolls. I use the sweet Hawaiian rolls. You want to split those into um, half. So that way you can um, remove the top part of the bread and go ahead and layer your um, sliders. It's simple, quick, and easy, y'all. You're just adding the chicken onto the bottom of the bread and then you'll add whatever kind of cheese you want. If you don't want to add cheese, you don't have to. Um, and then you're going to cover it up and put it back in the oven. But I love this part right here, y'all. It's just show you how much chicken is on your sliders and you can even it out however you want to. I just used American cheese on half of my sliders because that's how my man likes it and he loves American cheese. So, yeah, I just added it to have the sliders because I'm not a big cheese person like that. So, yeah. And then I put them back in the oven and let the cheese melt just for the cheese to melt, y'all. That's all. So, about two minutes or so on 400 degrees. I took it out and I spreaded it with some garlic butter. That's it. It's literally garlic in there, butter, and I added some parsley and some chives. That's it literally and i melted it in the microwave and i spread it on top so it could look just like that y'all and that was literally it look at that mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I went on top and added some honey. I got some local honey. So I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at this. Look at this cameo. I paired it with some fries and voila, y'all. It was so delicious. Like this is a great snack. Try this recipe. Bye, y'all.